so we're at the point where we're about to do some welding. The welding plug is right here against the wall and we're pretty much pinned in this corner here. I do not feel safe actually welding over here because there is way too many things. A spatter ball can go flying and catch something on fire. So what I did last night was I went and grabbed an extension cord. All right, we got the cord. 40 foot cord and two ends. And Precious is on her way over. She's gonna put it together for us. It's not delivery. Precious got it all together. Just to double check her work, I plug one side into the other, and then I make sure the wires are the same. White and white, greens in the middle, and then the blacks on the side. All right, let's touch this bad boy out. Oh yeah. All right, it is the following day, and it is beautiful out. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Look at this, it's damn great. I get to keep my door open while I work. Awesome, so anyway, this is where we left off. I got the basement slightly cleaned up from the last project. Uh, I got all my materials laid out over here for this exhaust manifold project. We got all the U-pipes, we got the straight. We're gonna be making a log exhaust. Um, originally, I wanted to make a header I had bought these exhaust collectors, but um, I feel like the process is just gonna take way too long to try to put this together. So yeah, we're just gonna do a log and we're gonna put these to the side. This will be another product that we bought that we're not using. Cause there's actually a few of them I bought that I'm probably not using. Uh, that I think is the second one I came to. But anyway, so yesterday I started looking for some nuts and bolts to screw the flange onto the motor whip right there so because the ones that came out the engine are horrible so we're going through the suitcase we're gonna pick through this i found three yesterday i just gotta find one more I'll use at least two on each side to hold it on while we're doing the mock-up So yeah, let me find my fourth one and then we'll get back to you. We'll start working on this exhaust log turbo manifold. Found my hardware that I'll be using just to mount the flange onto the, uh, the motor here. And I think I'm gonna take some tape and tape up these holes. So when I'm welding, spatter balls don't fly down into the, the pockets there where the valves are. Yeah, we don't want that to happen. This is pretty much what I'm doing. Putting a piece of masking tape and then putting a piece of the foil tape over the masking tape. And hopefully that'll prevent any spatter balls from melting onto my valves. Got both sides taped up and then I'm gonna stick the flange back on. Yeah, I gotta clean the inside lip up of these just a little bit. And then we're gonna stick them back on, start mocking them up. All right, got them all cleaned up. Now let's go weld to them. I cut one of these U-pipes the other day and yeah, I was playing around with it a little bit. You know, so pretty much, yeah, I'm gonna have to set them in there like that, kind of on an angle. Like chop it off around here. The two and a quarter inch coming straight out and then these are uh, connecting into it. I got all the tools that I think I'm gonna need. My chop box and a grinder with a whiz wheel and a grinder with a hard wheel. And the, and then of course the welder. Right, let's get the old chop box fired up. Pretty much the first piece cut something like that or I might have to cut it a little closer something like that so this is how I'm tapering down making little slots and then bending them in and then this way get that to slide in 
Uh, it's kind of like a, I guess I can call it a practice run. I might use this and just weld it up, or I might turn it around and just cut this inch off and start over again. These are the two I made. This one I cut like V-gaps out of, and then nailed it in. But like I'm doing all this by hand with a grinder with a whiz wheel on it. So it comes out really choppy. And then this one, I just cut slots out and nailed it in and then overlaid them. You know, I knocked the, uh, get this out and show you. Okay, see how I did that one? I actually like this one a lot better. Everything's a lot tighter and uh, less likely for little pieces of weld to get through after I weld it up. So yeah, I'm probably gonna do both of them like this. This is how far I got so far. The placement of it's good. All right, let's see what I got going on here. I got this one welded up. Don't look too shabby, right? Looks all good. So this is what you begin with. I just put a bunch of slots in there. Then I knock these two in. Then I knock these two in. And then I overlay these ones on top of those ones. And that's how I do it. And that's how it's done. Well, at least that's how I do it. Oh yeah. yeah. The last little stretch. I mean, yeah, I think they look pretty good. Look pretty damn good. Not too bad at all, if I say so myself. I mean, yeah. It's not perfect, but good enough. I pretty much got these logs set up with that bent end on it. Now I'm working on working on these pieces here for the turn. We're coming off of the flange. I'm gonna get out trying to get this piece on with that log I made, and once I get it situated, I'll show you guys what's up. I got it all tacked together. I got about three tacks on each one. I mean. Looks pretty good so far. I feel like it's pretty straight because I wanted it to come straight out. And I, I tried um, running along that valve cover with it. So I don't know, it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna keep working on this and yeah, we'll show you what's next. I took it off the engine, I'm kind of looking at it now, looking how I'm gonna feed in the other two, somehow or another. Slight angle, I guess. I mean, even this one, I wish I was a little bit more on an angle. Kind of comes straight up, but I don't know. Not looking for perfect. So yeah, maybe on a slight angle, I'll put these two. Something like that. Just gotta make sure I got enough room in there to get the bolt. Oh, yeah. oh. So it's a little after eight at night and I'm still making some progress. Check it out. Oh yeah, it's coming together. Just got this, uh, this last piece for this side done. And then tomorrow I just gotta make the holes in it. Unless I can figure a way out to do that right now, I will do it. So I got this hole saw kit right here and it says right here on the side, by metal so I'm pretty sure that means 
you can cut through wood and metal wood it. All right, well, let's try it. All right, looks good. Yeah, we might have to do this on the floor. It sure did work, check it out. So, that's what I'm working with now. Got my holes in there. Got these lined up. There is a little, little gap right here, but it's definitely doable. So, yeah, I'm gonna tack that up and then put it on the back on the engine. See how it looks. And then tomorrow I'm gonna start on the second one. This is where I left off with yesterday. So yeah, we gotta. Cut the tacks here and clean up the edge on the inside. I forgot to do that. All right, almost got it welded up. This one anyway. And we got to start making the second one. Got it in there. Got to weld that up and that up. Then I'm done. Just those two more. Hey, my welds don't look too bad. Hey, Precious. How you going? You leaving? All right, we'll see you later, Precious. Remember, you only got a 15 minute break. Then you gotta get back to work. It's the first one, I got it all done. It's on there. Looking good, right? Got the other one, semi mocked up. Let's see what I got going on so far. At this point where I just got this elbow on here, like that, I haven't connected the other two ports up yet. I'm uh, just trying to get the, the angle of it set straight, kind of going off the valve cover, kind of looking down the valve, uh, the pipe here, and then trying to match it up with the bottom edge over here, the valve cover, and uh, yeah. Too bad. There we go. Now this one on this side, I did the same thing with, but it seemed to drop a little bit. I guess in the welding process, maybe it moved from the heat. I'm not really sure, but you can see where the edge is. It's a little bit lower right here. Because I'm kind of just eyeballing it like this. Get it straight, running down the valve cover. But yeah, we're almost done with the uh, exhaust mannings. 